Yo, what's good, what's good out there, world? Welcome to this edition of Smoking and Baking with Trademark. And today, I'm going to be making for you a homemade, made-from-scratch ginger pound cake. And the ingredients are as follows. So I'm going to be using some of this Swan's Down cake flour, also some light brown sugar, some granulated sugar. I'm also going to be using five eggs at room temperature and three sticks of this unsalted butter at room temperature. I'm also going to be using some baking powder, some heavy whipping cream, some of this grandma molasses. Here I got some powdered sugar. Also, I'm going to be using some ground cinnamon, some nutmeg, and also some ground ginger. So, here are the ingredients that I'm going to be using to make this homemade, made-from-scratch ginger pound cake. Now, let's get the baking. So, now I'm going to mix my dry ingredients right here. I have three cups of Swan's Down cake flour, and I'm going to sift this into this medium-sized bowl. Adding into the flour will be one half teaspoon of salt and also one half teaspoon of this baking powder. Now I'm going to add three teaspoons of this ground cinnamon. And now I'm going to add two and one half teaspoons of this ground ginger. And now I'm going to add one half of a teaspoon of this nutmeg. Now I'm going to just fold all this into the mix and I'll see you at the next step. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take one half of a cup of molasses. And just place that here in the bowl. And then we're going to do three-fourths of a cup of this heavy whipping cream. And remember to have it at room temperature. And we're going to also place this in a bowl. And right now we're just going to set this aside. And I'm going to meet you guys at the next so As step. you can see, I pulled out my stand mixer and I attached my paddle attachment. So now we're about to cream this uh, sugar and butter so in my mixing bowl i'm going to place three sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature i'm going to also place one cup of granulated white sugar and i'm going to use two cups of this light brown sugar now i'm going to mix this together for three to five minutes. I'm going to start it off on a lower speed. And then I'm going to turn it up to high and I'm going to let this mix like for five minutes and I'll see you guys at the next step. Midway through your mix, you want to scrape down the sides of your bowl to make sure you're getting a thorough mix. So now we're going to add our eggs in one at a time, making sure each egg is thoroughly mixed before adding in our next egg. So now we're going to add our flour mix in with our uh, heavy whipping cream and molasses. Now we're going to just add in some flour, add in some of the molasses mix, and then we're going to mix it, starting it off on a low mix and then putting it up on a higher speed so it doesn't fly all over the place and we're going to just continue to do this until the mix is gone okay now let's get this cake into the bun pan but before we do i'm going to let you know that my oven was already preheated to 325 degrees and we're also going to leave the cake in the oven for one hour and five minutes or until a toothpick can come out clean now before we get our cake mix in the butt pan. Let's spray it down. Okay. 
And now we're just going to put our mix inside of the pan. So let's go ahead and spread this out evenly. You really can smell the molasses. I cannot wait to taste it. I don't know if I told you, but this is my first time baking this cake. Because I really love gingerbread cookies. So I'm like, let me just see if I can make a gingerbread pound cake. And remember, I'm going to do a caramel icing for this. So we just want to shake it. Make sure it's even. Again, this is going in the oven for one hour and five minutes or until the toothpick come out clean at 325 degrees. And I'll see you then. It's been an hour and five minutes and now my ginger pound cake is out the oven and it smells delicious and it's nice and golden brown. But now let's go ahead and make the caramel icing for the cake. Ingredients are as follows. So right here I have one half of a teaspoon of salt. I have one cup of powdered sugar and I also have one half a cup of this light brown sugar. Over here I have one fourth of a cup of heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon of whole milk, and here in the back I have one cup of Cairo dark syrup. You can either use the dark or the light so I'm going to just mix this all in this bowl and I have my whisk. So let's get. So now we're going to mix the heavy cream, the milk, and also the carol syrup, the brown sugar, and also the salt. We're going to mix it and then place it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes and let it cool. So it's been 15 minutes and now I removed my mix from the refrigerator. So now I'm going to gradually add in one cup of sugar, powdered sugar into my mix. Now off camera, I sifted my sugar so I can have a much easier and smoother mix.